Welcome back. Today let's talk about the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 macro IS USM lens. A couple of months ago I bought this lens because I always used my good old RF 35mm f1.8 macro for all my detail shots. Until I've noticed that the 100mm could be a great addition to make it as easy as possible for me to take these kind of photos. So is this lens actually worth it? Let's talk about it. First off, let's talk about the design and build quality of this lens. The Canon RF 100mm f2.8 macro is part of Canon's L series, known for its top-notch build quality and performance. It's designed for the Canon RF mount, meaning it's built to work seamlessly with Canon's EOS R series of mirrorless cameras. This lens offers a maximum aperture of f2.8, which is absolutely great for low-light situations and achieving that creamy bouquet that we all love. And yes, for sure, the RF 100mm offers an excellent build quality, allowing it to be used in various conditions out there. Basically, the lens fits solid yet not overly heavy, making Making it a great choice for longer handheld shooting sessions without causing any issues. A quick note here, you can also see the Helix filter mount here on my lens, but none of the images that I will share in this video are taken with any filters in front of this lens. That's just my basic setup for all my lenses, just in case if I want to use such a filter. But now, let's move on. Additionally, this lens features typical switches, such as the one for the focus options, allowing you to switch between multiple settings. There's also the stabilizer switch that you can turn on and off, which is very handy for reducing camera shake during handheld shooting sessions. Moreover, this lens includes includes a switch for the manual and autofocus, giving you the flexibility to choose your focusing method based on your shooting needs. One unique feature of this lens is its SA control ring, located conveniently on the barrel. This ring allows you to adjust the look of the bokeh, giving you creative control over the autofocus areas. It's in my opinion a fun tool for those who want to experiment with different bokeh effects, adding a layer of artistic expression to their shots. And for sure in addition to the SA control ring, this lens offers a focus ring and an additional control ring as well, that I always use for my ISO settings. In my opinion the feedback from these rings is also satisfying and showing quick adjustments simple and fast. This setup provides a seamless shooting experience as you can make quick adjustments without taking your eye off the viewfinder. So your all in all the build quality is indeed impressive. I really like the overall look and design of this lens, but to be honest here, that's something that I would expect from such a lens in that price category. But what's about the image quality? Well, the image quality is just fantastic. The sharpness is incredible, even wide open at f2.8. In this case, it's super easy to get stunning results straight out of the camera. One of the most exciting features of this lens is its 1.4 magnification. This extra bit allows for even closer and more detailed shots, making it perfect for those tiny subjects where every detail matters. So whether you're photographing textures, small insects or flowers, the 1.4 magnification lets you capture details that are often missed with other lenses. On top, the bouquet is smooth and pleasing, making your subject pop against a beautiful blurred background. I'm personally not a macro photography pro but this lens makes it so much easier for me to capture some detail shots when I'm out there. Whenever I want to take any shots in that category the 100mm is my go-to lens and I don't want to miss it anymore. On top of that this lens features an excellent image stabilization. This is especially useful for any handheld macro shots where even the slightest movement can cause blur. The stabilization makes it so much easier to achieve sharp images even in challenging conditions so whether you're shooting in low light or super close the image stabilization ensures that your shots remain sharp and steady. But yeah I'm using the Canon RF 100mm 2.8 macro for a few months now and it absolutely makes it so much easier to take some great detail shots. The sharpness and details are just unmatched, making it my go-to lens for these kind of photos. On top, the lens's ability to render fine details and textures with a great clarity has opened up new creative possibilities for my photography. As for the autofocus, the Nano USM motor in this lens is both fast and quiet. This is especially important if you want to take some close-up photos of insects or other small things around you. In my opinion, the focus is on point and quick, making it a reliable choice for capturing beautiful moments of accuracy. But what's about video? Well, the the Canon RF 100mm 2.8 macro can absolutely be used for videography as well. I personally don't really use it that much for videos, but the quiet autofocus mode ensures that your audio won't be ruined by focusing noise. So whether you're shooting detailed product videos, nature documentaries or creative b-roll, this lens also delivers great results. The versatility of the focal length makes it a great addition to any filmmaker's kit, offering a unique perspective and the ability to capture stunning macro footage. So the final question is, is the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 worth it? Well, at the end of the day, it depends on what you want to do. For sure, this lens offers a great performance and versatility. Its unique features such as the 1.4 magnification and the stunning image quality sets it apart from the competition. And especially if you want to take some detail shots or some in-depth macro photos, the 100mm 2.8 is for sure a great choice. So if you're in the market for a new macro lens and you're using the Canon EOS R system, the RF 100mm f2.8 macro is a great investment. In my opinion, the combination of build quality, image quality and features makes it a standout option. If you want to check out some more photos, definitely follow me on Instagram where I share plenty of shots taken with this fantastic lens and all kind of other cameras and lenses in my kit. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.